Epilepsy is a type of seizure? No, uh, epilepsy is a, is a, his, a seizure disorder. Basically, uh, two or more seizure, uh, lifetime seizures that were unprovoked would qualify to be considered epile- ah, epileptic. So epilepsy is, refers to like how often I get seizures. I, epilepsy refers to you having the propensity to get seizures. Gotcha. Yeah. If you only had a one-time life, a one-lifetime seizure in your life, basically, and then you knew what the cause was, for example, you had a, a head trauma, right? Sometimes after concussion, people can get seizures. So that is your first and only seizure. We wouldn't call you epile- uh, 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 epileptic. We won't call this an epilepsy disorder because you only had one lifetime and it was provoked. It wasn't unprovoked. If you had two or more unprovoked seizures, meaning there were no causes that you can, you as a physician can ascertain, then more likely than not, this is an epilepsy. And then the reason why it's important is because if it's epilepsy, then they need to be on medications to prevent future episodes. Uh. Because again, if you have somebody with epilepsy and they have recurrent seizures, it's like we say seizures beget seizures. And it's also kind of applicable to migraines. We just say migraines beget migraines or headaches beget headaches. So whatever the state is, it's like sometimes it goes to short circuit and it's just like a loop that you have to stop somewhere. That's where these medications, the anti-seizure medications come into play. They stop this loop from going on and on and on or from recurring basically.